Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 149 alongside Ryan Jimmo who just tied the record for the fastest knockout in UFC history and Ryan you just said to me off camera you went from being the most boring fighter in the world to getting a piece of the record for the fastest KO do you feel like you just uh, maybe said a big F you to all the haters out there uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and it looks more impressive, I think, because I used to be so boring, and now, you know, so all the better. So yeah. everything's forgotten, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, how can you even like put all this into words? I mean, your debut—you've been waiting so long for this in your home country, defeating a veteran like that. I mean, can you even really understand what just happened to you right now? Uh, yeah, I've I've visualized it for a long time. I knew this was coming, and uh, I know I don't know how that sounds, but I, I, I've seen this uh, every day when I close my eyes. So. It's, uh, it's not unexpected. You visualize getting the fastest KO or at least tying well, it? No, but putting on a very good impre uh, impression and uh, um, uh, impressing people with uh, knockouts with an impressive fashion. And I said impressive a lot there, didn't I? I'm a well, you were very impressive. Thank you, I know. <laughs> by the way, you know, the first punch, it seemed like it landed flush. Do you think he was out? I kind of think you should get the record for the fastest KO because it took Josh a little while to get there. Yeah, 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 what he said. I 100% agree. Now, what he said. Is there any chance, we're talking to you midway through the card, is there any chance you didn't get the knockout of the night? I mean, something ridiculous would have to happen. Well, if they, a spinning hook kick could possibly do it, or uh, no one's listening to this, all the guys in the back start practicing yeah. spinning, uh, or if they knock someone out faster. Right. So, that's it. That would be bananas. That would be uh, absolutely bananas. Also bananas was your post-fight celebration, and but you gave us the sneak peek on Wednesday, yeah. but you upped it, I mean, to do that, and then to add the splits. Yeah. I mean, this is a perfect night for you. It's uh, pretty spectacular. I can't complain, and uh, uh, hopefully it's a good thing. How are you going to celebrate? Uh, I'm going to uh, just spend some time with my family, uh, my girlfriend, um, smoke a cigar, uh, have a beer, and uh, that's that. Congrats, Ryan. Thank you very much.